Hey y'all, what's up? Just want to tell y'all a couple of things today. Um, two or three things that I saw on my way to work today and one more thing I want to tell y'all about. Um, I saw this one, well first, this is brought to you by McDonald's. They didn't buy me I mean, they didn't give me any money or any food, not even a discount, but that's where I got breakfast from. So, because I didn't want to wait my honey bun up today, I let her go ahead and sleep as much as she could. Anywho, three things that I saw. One thing I saw was, I saw a man working in the yard cutting grass which was not unusual but this man was cutting grass he was cutting the yard with a weed eater and um not a mower but a weed eater and i was like okay 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 that's a very good work ethic he doesn't mind hard work um but he is not very efficient it's already hot this is south carolina and it is June and it's hot when you go to bed it's hot when you wake up um I think that's in the book of uh what's it first or second chronicles uh you be hot in the city and hot in the field hot when you come when you go it's hot now he couldn't grass with the weed eater. anyway another thing I saw I was riding behind this Buick SUV, and um, I really wouldn't, wouldn't pay much attention to it, except this Buick SUV was driving along, everything normal, and I happened to see a squirrel on the side of the road, and the squirrel, squirrel was contemplating. He was contemplating, almost like I could just see uh, words and a thought bubble over his head and this girl said I think I can make it across this road and uh, and I tried to give him one of my thought bubbles and said don't do it don't you don't want them problems you don't want those problems squirrel stay where you at stay and this squirrel and then his thought bubble he said this is just a Buick it's an SUV, probably not even going that fast. I'm going to go. And I said in my thought bubbles, squirrel, don't do it. So the squirrel saw my thought bubbles and he said, I hear you, Al, but I'm going to do it. That squirrel ran out there in that road, that Buick said, pow! That Buick hit that squirrel. And by the time I got to it, that squirrel... The only thing moving on this squirrel was that one back leg. It was just jumping. And I said, you know what? I told this squirrel not to go. <sighs> anyway, so uh, he's dead. Um, circle of life, whatever. And another thing I saw this morning, I was at McDonald's. And I was getting ready to go in. And I saw somebody coming. And I, I tried to be you know, a nice mannerable guy. So this older fella was coming and uh he had a he had a nice cane with rubber feet on it. I said, Okay, that's good traction. And he was taking these baby steps and I said, I'm gonna wait on him. Even though, you know, it's about seven thirty in the morning and um it's um already hundred and eight degrees. I'm going to wait on him. And I waited on him, held the door for him. Say, you know, how bad could it be? Nobody else is in line. He's going to go up there, order him a cup of coffee, some senior citizen coffee. And then I can get my uh, steak bagel and I'll be gone. So he took his baby steps. I waited two or three minutes for him to get from. Um, he better be glad that Buick wasn't coming. But anyway, he came and. I let him in. Before he got in, he stopped at the door and he saw a man mopping and he yelled at him, you better not put too much water on this floor and make me fall. And um, I kind of looked and I said, okay, maybe they know each other because, um, you know, 
you just don't tell people what they better do on their on their job. And so he um went on, got in line, and he was still fussing about the the mopping man. And he said, Did you hear what I said? You better not put too much water on this floor and I fall, then I'ma own this place, then I'm gonna have to fire you. I said, Oh, this might be Donald Trump's um granddaddy. So then <clears throat> He ordered a two for, two for three dollars something, a two for four dollars something, but and I said okay, you know that's not that bad. He just ordered that he's gonna go and get it and sit down. He said now who the manager? Cause the manager know how to take my order and he made them. He did the two for deal. He made them right on the ticket that he was gonna get his second one tomorrow. I did not know you can buy. Uh, uh ham and whatever kind of biscuit a day in advance that meant i did not know i did not know anyway and here's another thing i want to tell you I, this this uh this show green leaf i usually don't watch uh, a lot of shows that you know like churchy but for some reason i said i'll give this one a shot you know oprah winfrey show move um tv show and i just want to share something with you uh, church people and you non-church people. For you church people, do not go to church Sunday and try to pick out who is Jacob and who is Grace and who is the uh, uh, is the bishop, like your old pastor. And don't don't do that. Don't go to church. Talking about I want to see if I'm going to Greenleaf. No, you ain't at Greenleaf. It's a fictional church. Leave them people at your church alone. And uh, to you uh, unchurch folks, um, don't go to church Sunday because you think Jacob going to be there. And don't do not do that. No. So um, Greenleaf is a television show. It's supposed to be for entertainment value only. So don't take Greenleaf to church. Pastors, Whatever you're going to preach about Sunday, go ahead and preach about that. Don't change up and preach about green leaf. You don't want your folk focus on green leaf. They might start looking at you sideways. I'm, I'm telling y'all. And um, But, you know, I got to go. It's, a, it's been a long video. But just have a moment of silence for um, Mr. Squirrel. That beard didn't have to do that squirrel like that. No.